Well, good morning. It is a beautiful sunny day here in Melbourne. Lots of people have been slowly gathering and milling and whatever the time is now, shortly after 11. And here is a gathering now. A couple of hundred, because there's still a lot more people moving their way in. A couple of hundred people that did come in today and are willing to take the risk to face an enormous police presence. Enormous police presence. I've done a couple of laps now just looking at what's going on and what resources they have where and there are easily over 100 cops deployed. Uh, so far the behavior has been pretty good. There's been a couple of real idiots that have antagonized the cops and unsurprisingly the cops have piled on and made arrests and that sort of stuff. Uh, so I can't really blame them for that. Some of these guys, if you're going to do that sort of stupid behavior, just stay home. We don't want you. All right. Uh, but to everyone that's come, simply to stand and be here and be a part of the voice that begins this journey. This is by no means the last. It may be the first. But I hope that every single one of you watching this feels a little pang of guilt that you stayed home. We are here exercising our constitutional rights. All right, here we go. I don't know the particulars of that incident, uh, whether he was doing something silly or not, but you can certainly hear and sense the mood that is here. People are very willing to be taking a stand and they are taking a stand very publicly. Some people have unmasked their faces. My personal preference would be that we all stayed masked and we all kept our distance, but each to their own. Now I want to make one thing very clear. We are going to be characterized in the media and especially by the Premier and by this Assistant Police Commissioner who is a disgrace to his uniform as a bunch of conspiracy theorists, as a bunch of nut jobs. This is the language that they use talking about us. I can tell you for a fact right now, the vast majority of these people here, they are worried about taking our rights. Good man. They are absolutely worried about our free speech being taken away from us, contrary to the Constitution and the implied right of political communication that has been affirmed multiple times by the High Court, contrary to the Victorian Charter of Human Rights and Responsibilities, which cannot be abrogated, it cannot be taken away from us unless the legislation taking it away meets certain very clear guidelines, which I go through in a video that I posted yesterday, an interview with Tim Quilty MLC. I go through that in detail. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, go back to yesterday's posts on my page, Topher Field on Facebook, and have a look watch of that video. It's about 17 minutes long, and I go through the implications of the Victorian Charter. Say hi to I will do. Please again, you can the Victorian Charter of Human Rights and Responsibilities and how that interacts with the Emergency Declaration. And I also talk about a former High Court Chief Justice and what he had to say about their intimidating use of arrest for so-called incitement when a summons would actually suffice. So go back and watch that video if you're not sure what I'm talking about. But that's the kind of stuff that has people here. We're not a bunch of conspiracy nut jobs. We are literally concerned about the rule of law and the fact that Daniel Andrews seems to think that he can make it up as he goes along and that whatever he says goes. That's not how it works and we're not going to stand for it and that's why we're here. Massive props. Massive respect to everybody here. And credit where credit is due. Respect to the police as well. They're here. They're standing on that. Oops, sorry. Standing on that line, keeping us from going into the shrine itself. Uh, but so far, I've not observed myself 
any behaviour that would be inappropriate, besides the fact that uh, obviously they've been given instructions not to let us properly protest. But in terms of in terms of escalation, in terms of all that sort of stuff, I haven't seen any of that. So credit where credit is due and respect where respect is due. I'm not saying it hasn't happened, but I certainly haven't seen any. All right. So you get a sense now, there's a few hundred people that have had the carriage to actually come up to the forecourt here. Uh, there's still more hanging back over the road and so forth. I don't blame them for doing that. It's, uh, it's a little bit intimidating when you have this kind of a uh, police presence right in front of you, so I don't blame them. I'm grateful that they actually showed up at all and they even came as close as they did. But uh, for those of you that sowed discord, for those of you that sowed confusion, take a good hard look at yourselves. Because just imagine if this forecourt had 10,000 people instead of a few hundred. What if we had been united and we'd all come? What could Daniel or Andrews have said there? You were afraid that he was going to use it against us. Well, he's going to use it against us no matter what we do. But just imagine what a different picture this would be. So take a good hard look at yourselves. And next time, when everyone gets united around a date, do not sow discord. Do not dissent and certainly don't try and do it the day before where you're going to leave a bunch of people high and dry. I want to talk about this. This is important. A core Australian value is you do not leave your mates behind. You do not screw over your mates, right? That's, that is at the heart of who we are as Aussies. Now, when you call for a protest and you say, hey, everybody, show up, and then the day before you try and say, oh, no, 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 everybody, don't show up, there's a bunch of people that are not going to get that memo. There's a bunch of people that aren't going to know about that, and they're going to show up in good faith to support you, and you won't be there. Right? That is un Australian. So for the, um, this, is, this is all I'm going to say on this and I'm going to move on, put it in the past, move on. This is the last thing I'm going to say on this. For those of you that sowed that discord, take a good hard look at yourself, take a good hard look at this screen and the amount of people here and get your shit together, be here next time. Alright, moving on. There's a few more people coming in. Now there's no speeches, there's no formalities, there's not really anything that we're waiting for here. We're largely, oh, okay, here we go, the Mounties are coming down. Alright, so we might be about to see a move from the police here. We might be about to see them try and push everybody off. And at this point, this would be an absolute violation of our rights. What's happening here, that is not a peaceful protest as permitted by the Australian Constitution and as guaranteed also under the Australian Human Rights, um, the, yeah, here we go. Sorry, officers, but you just became the bad guys. Like social distancing a little bit harder, aren't they? They are literally trying to stop a completely peaceful protest. This is now unacceptable. And they're looking for trouble, you can see them. They're scanning, they're looking for trouble. They're looking for people that they can pick on, that they can pull out of the crowd. No, this is unacceptable. This is un-Australian. We are here in peaceful protest. We are here exercising our rights and fighting for them. This is now unacceptable, Victoria Police. This is unacceptable. This should not be happening in a free country. This should not be happening in a liberal democracy. We are being pushed off where we were standing, holding a peaceful protest. You saw it, completely peaceful. There is no justification for moving us on. There is no justification for infringing our right, our constitutional right to political communication and our rights under the Victorian Charter of Human Rights and Responsibilities. You can see the mood. No one here is starting fights. Well, maybe except for a couple of the officers are looking for one. But look at the mood here. People are dancing, people are singing, there's music. Is this really how Victoria Police want to be known? How they want to be remembered? Is this really what that uniform stands for? You actually know if push us out of here. 
Yeah. What a disgrace. This is a stain on our state. This is a stain on their reputation, on their standing with the community. They're literally corralling people. Unfortunately, I don't have a good view of this anymore, but there's lots of other people filming that have a much better view than me, so I might need to get some of that footage and edit together a video. I'm, uh, I found myself accidentally in completely the wrong spot here. Look at him. Just pushing people off the shrine of remembrance of all places. Listen to the tone change. Listen to how happy everything was. And now, the cops are squashing people, horses are pushing into people. Freedom! 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 The conflict here has been created entirely by the police. Freedom! Freedom! There was no conflict until the police moved in. This was entirely created by them. That is irresponsible. It is disgusting. There's a bunch more Mounties moving up right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another 12 mounted police moving in right now to create more conflict. There was no conflict until the police made one. Freedom! Freedom! Come on! Is freedom, this what freedom, Victoria stands freedom, for now? Freedom! Freedom! Is this freedom, what Daniel Andrews freedom. calls acceptable? Is this the new normal? Is this what he's talking about? This is disgusting. I am absolutely disgusted by what I'm seeing here. A peaceful protest, people dancing, was turned confrontational and violent because the police would not allow us to exercise our rights. I have never been more ashamed of the country that I call home, of the state that I have lived in since I was two and a half years old. I love this city and I love this place, but boy oh boy, it's hard to be proud of who we've become. There they are, more police waiting down the bottom to catch them as they get pushed out of their little dragnet there. What a disgusting abuse of power. What a disgusting abuse of power. Look at him. What are they? They're arresting grandmothers now. Look at him. They held up a sign. That's why they're getting arrested. They held, they held up a sign, they did you say? They held up there a you sign. go. So I've just had someone who saw what happened walk past me and say that apparently they're being arrested because they held up a sign. This is the new normal. Well done, Daniel Andrews. Well done, Daniel Andrews. This is the Victoria you wanted. This is the Victoria you've created. Confrontation between the police and the people of Victoria. And the absolute violation of the rights of Victorians and anyone who lives in a free country. The right to political protest. It is enshrined in law at multiple levels of law. It's enshrined in state law. It's enshrined in federal law. And you think you can just take it away because you don't like it. You don't like the fact that we're protesting against you. What a disgrace. What a disgrace. 
It's just heartbreaking. It is just heartbreaking. Granny's arrested, the one in pink and another one in red, just behind those two police officers to the right of screen. I can't quite get her. Granny's being arrested for holding up a sign. People being moved on and intimidated and a peaceful, in fact, a happy music dancing protest has been turned confrontational because police were given orders not to allow us to exercise our rights. Is this Australia? Am I still in Australia? Because honestly, right now, it does not feel like it. This is not the country that I was born in, the country that I've lived in for most of my life, and the country that I absolutely love. This is not us. You sure have nothing to protect the community and people, not to protect the government. Exactly. Wow. All right. Well, I think we've made our point. I'm concerned that if they nab me and arrest me and bail me, they're going to gag me, so I'm not allowed to speak about it anymore. That's the tactic. That's why they're arresting people instead of giving them summons. So I'm, uh, I'm actually going to make myself scarce, keep my powder dry for another day before they can uh, gag me the way that they've gagged so many others. So it sounds like things are going to kick on a little bit. I'm not personally going to jump in on that. Uh, I'm going to go home to my wife, my four-year-old boy, and my seven-week-old girl. For those of you that didn't come because you've got families, I want you to rethink. I came because I have a family. I came because I want my son to be able to live in this country and enjoy the freedoms that I enjoyed when I was a kid. The fact that you've got a family isn't a reason not to come. It's the reason you should have been here. All right. Well, you saw it with your own eyes, guys, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more other footage that's going to come out. There's going to be a lot more... Uh, sounds like uh, sounds like some people are kicking on elsewhere, but um, I'm going to go home, give my wife a hug, light up a cigar, and have a think about what I've seen because honestly, this this is just heartbreaking. This is just heartbreak. Is this who we are now? Is this what we've become? All right, there will be more, and I will be at them, and I urge you, come. Don't let anything stand in your way. If there's more confusion, if there's more dissent, if there's more disagreement about dates and all the rest of it, I don't care. Come to all of them. Don't pick and choose. Just get here. We needed you today. I'll say it again. Imagine if there'd been 5,000 of us here. Now, the numbers are pretty good. You look around, numbers are pretty good. I'm going to put it... North of 400 for sure. I'm going to say 500, 550, thereabouts. Given all the people across the road, all the people that have been holding back a little bit, definitely hundreds of us, multiple hundreds of us, but imagine if there'd been 5,000, right? That could have happened if it weren't for that disunity. Let's not be disunited again.